So Neely, now I have this, you know, great new food blog and I'm taking all these delicious looking pictures of food and restaurants but how do I make sure that my content actually gets seen? Yeah, there are so many different ways you can go about that, but we're actually gonna cover how to actually optimize your images for web and SEO here in the journey. All right, fun fact of nearly time. Did you know that images are the second most popular way to search after keywords? No, but that makes sense. I mean, people buy with their eyes, right? Absolutely. So leveraging the power of images with your, your content is crucial. And that's why if you wanna really make your business stand out and be noticed, you have to leverage the power of images with your content. So there's a lot that goes into it and I'm not gonna do all the work for you. <laughs> Come on, please. Uh, help a girl out. <laughs> all right, I'll at least help you. I'll okay. take you through your own website and show you at home a quick demo of how to optimize your images for web and SEO. Perfect, let's do it. Cool, compromise. All right, Alex, so let's check out some of the images on your website. So where do you go and upload your images? So I normally go to where it says media. Okay, so let's check out some of the content that you've uploaded. Okay. All right, so all burgers, <laughs> I, I dig it. <laughs> Nothing so, wrong with that. <laughs> so let's check out one of these images. Cool, so I'm noticing some good things, I'm noticing some not so good things. So let's dive into this a little bit. Okay. All right, so, so we'll start with the good. Let's start with the positive, right? So I do see here you have some of what's called alternative text. Now, when Google or other search engines crawl your site, it can't actually see this delicious burger. All it sees is it says image. It doesn't know what to do with that. That's where that alternative text comes in. So this one, you put awesome burgers, which is good. It's, it's descriptive, shows exactly what it is. Um, but I don't see you have it on any of your other images. So you definitely want to write some type of description of what that is. That way it gets indexed by search engines. Cause like we said before, it is the second most popular way to search. Okay, so every image gets its own alternative text. Yeah, and you really want to describe it too. The more descriptive, the better. This also helps for visually impaired people that are on your site that have screen readers. So if they're on your site, it'll have delicious burger, it'll have this or it'll have that versus it just going in saying image. Okay. It's not very helpful. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep the sites accessible too. Moving on to title, your titles aren't bad. I've seen worse. I've seen the ones that are like screenshot dash, this date dash, blah. It, again, it's not, that's not really helpful. Mm -hmm. You wanna be as descriptive as possible. Okay. So this one says beef dash blur dash bread and then some numbers. How do I make it better? So we can probably just get rid of the numbers. Again, it has to be descriptive of what the, the image is all about. So beef dash blur dash bread, that one's fine. You wanna have those dashes in there because that's what's going to show up in the address bar. Okay. Uh, it's also something that Google kind of takes a look at as well. And then WordPress saves in real time. So as soon as I clicked off of that, it saves. So you kind of have the same trend here. Blur dash buns dash burger, that num those numbers. Just get rid of the numbers. All right, the next thing you really wanna look at are the captions of the image himself. The captions are one of the most read parts of a website. So having something there, again, as descriptive as possible. Now, if you got this image elsewhere, you usually the caption has the source of where you got that image. These are your photos since it's your Alex Eats food. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's yours there. And then description, same thing, as descriptive as possible. The more descriptive, the more keywords you can add to your website's images, the better you are gonna be in search engines. So what would be a good example for a caption here? Um, literally, just really describe it. Juicy, delicious burger. Uh, I can't type today. I really can't type today. With tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and Dijon mustard, sure. So it's a pretty solid caption and I really cannot type today. <laughs> Let's add burger in there too. Oh uh, yeah, you, maybe, I guess. Burger, there we go. <laughs> nope, not there. Let's put it right here. <laughs> I'm struggling today. I'm just hungry. <laughs> It's about that time. A mustard burger. <laughs> Juicy, delicious mustard. All right. All right, now with this, it's not really optimizing it for SEO, but it is optimizing it for your website itself. Now, what you don't wanna do is have an image that's like 5,000 width by 5,000 height. It's way too large. My screen is definitely not that big. You wanna keep them condensed. Um, if they are pretty big, you can resize them on your computer and re-upload them. You can actually resize directly in WordPress by going to edit image. And then right over here, there's new dimension. You can literally just type, say I want this to be 800 width. It'll automatically 
constrain it down to it by 533, click scale, and that'll shrink my image so it's not as large. You can also use the plugin WP Smush, Smush, and it'll basically do what, exactly what that is. It's gonna smush your images so they're not as large because also the faster your website is, the better in search results you'll come up with, whether it's text-based search results or image search results. Good to know. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Neely. Hopefully my great burger pictures will get seen a lot more now. Yeah. Be sure to let us know in the comments below what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Yeah. And while you're there, make sure you smash that like button. As always, subscribe to the channel so you can get this content first. This is a journey. We'll see you next time.